fact that Ichiro used to work tirelessly for them throughout the day. But they were not accustomed to respecting or appreciating Ichiro, and Ichiro's children were embarrassed to accept him as their father, believing that Ichiro had accomplished nothing in his life and had built nothing. And he was not the one who made any wishes come true. As a result, Ichiro became a coward, but his family did not understand. Because Ichiro has gotten old and his working age has passed, it is now his children's responsibility to work, but Ichiro's children did not comprehend their responsibilities. Despite these challenges, Ichiro worked hard, and Ichiro felt lonely despite the presence of his family, and he was such a direct man that no employee in the company respected him. Neither Ichiro nor Ichiro had any friends. Ichiro's condition has deteriorated as a result of this predicament, and when he visits the doctor for a checkup, the doctor informs him that he has cancer and will die soon. Ichiro is now attempting to inform his family of this information. But his family seemed unconcerned about the news, and his entire family was preoccupied with their own life. Meanwhile, Ichiro finds happiness, and it is the happiness of a dog, since he discovers a dog, and that dog is really loyal to Ichiro. When Ichiro's wife learns about this dog, she begs him to get the dog out of the house. However, Ichiro's dog refuses to leave him, so Ichiro asks the dog to leave him again and again. But that dog does not go anywhere, so Ichiro takes it to a park to keep it away from him. While there, Ichiro notices a strange spaceship, which crashes down on them before Ichiro can comprehend what is going on. At the same time, Ichiro passes away and a flashback scene appears in Ichiro's head. Ichiro is revitalized at first sight, and he returns to his home with that dog. He was taking everything strangely now that he had arrived at the house, and he was performing the chore for which he was deemed incompetent. He also feels a strange strength in his physique. Meanwhile, he begins to notice one of his hands. At the same moment, one fingernail is exposed, and two USB pins are visible. As he touches his throat, his entire face opens up. His both arms are likewise open at first sight, and he now knows the entire situation. It suggests that he had been confronted by it as a result of the crash landing alien force, and that he had now transformed into a machine with a human face, and that a teenage kid named Hiro alongside him, who was also there in the park at the time, had also transformed into a machine like Ichiro. But Hiro quickly grasps this technical power, and he becomes overly good at it, even becoming a master of his abilities. Hiro could fire from his finger, and he could precisely operate any electric instrument. Now he also tells his friend about his abilities. Hiro was a lonely youngster if he is stated here. He just had his mother and his family, and his father had gone to anyone else in search of fortune. It was for this reason that Hiro always wanted to see his mother happy for the rest of his life, but Hiro's financial situation was so bad, he couldn't do anything no matter how hard he tried, he used to drown in grief in this sad thought, and Hiro used to become aggressive whenever he saw a happy family. He used to be envious of it. On the other hand, Ichiro, who was also aware of his superpowers, is shown. He finds that he heals a pigeon in a matter of seconds. Meanwhile, Ichiro hears a wailing sound. In pursuit of that sound, Ichiro arrives at a hospital. He sees how the lady's son is on the verge of dying there. Using his abilities, Ichiro restores her son at the same moment. That lady's son, on the other hand, has fully healed. Now, Ichiro believes that he will undoubtedly use his superpower and that he will assist others. On the other hand, Hiro is shown, who believes that he will utilize his powers to irritate the public. He is seen teasing some of the college boys. While watching this, his companions begin to feel terrified of him, now, he has begun to think of himself as a king because of his talents. Now, he also considers how many people he will avenge. First and foremost, he moves to his father. Coming there, he begins to kill his father's family, but he pauses due to an unexplained reason, and he begins to return home. Then he hears a family laughing on the way back, and Hiro loses his rage, and he kills all members of that family. This information spreads quickly, as does the manner in which that family was murdered. Hiro's friend deduces that it was perpetrated by Hiro, because no one else could have done it. Hiro's boyhood friend breaks up with him as a result of this, and Hiro is now alone as a result of this loss. On the other hand, Ichiro was also upset as a result of this, and he was not performing his duties correctly in his office as a result of his problems, so he pleaded with his supervisor to keep his job, and then Ichiro returned home. 
As he arrives home, his wife informs him that his son is no longer interested in attending college and that his daughter also wishes to leave the college. Here's the most stunning information that Ichiro is aware of. Poor Ichiro, he doesn't say anything to anyone here about his wife's relationship with another man. He, on the other hand, claims that everyone has the right to live his own life. A guy is free to live his life as he wishes. After that, he tells his kid, don't be afraid of other people. He also tells his daughter, you can make a profession out of the subject arts. Despite the wishes of the family members being fulfilled. They criticize Ichiro, and now Ichiro sits in a corner, despondent. At the same moment, he hears a man crying, which he recognizes as Hiro's friend, who was worried about Hiro's faults and the fact that his friend was on the wrong path in life. Now Ichiro wanted to get there as soon as possible, so his robotic wings appeared in his eagerness, and he quickly flies to Hiro's pal. When he arrives, Hiro's pal informs him of the whole truth. He declares, you are the only one who can stop him. However, Ichiro lacked fighting ability. Hiro's companion now assists him in this matter, and he drinks the salty water found here. However, his robotic alien machine refuses to accept this modification. And it ejects that water right away, indicating that this machine has stopped working due to the saltiest water. Police, on the other hand, had also come in Hiro since they had been informed. Hiro is the one who murdered that family, and now they're all trying to apprehend him. However, Hiro ignores everyone's warnings. And he starts shooting everyone there, and then he flees. After that, he goes to his friend, and now Hiro is known all around, and he is most wanted. As a result, everyone is worried about Hiro's mother, and she commits suicide. Hiro is enraged when he realizes this reality. Now he targets anyone who opposes him, hacks their devices, and begins to murder them. However, Ichiro is aware that Hiro is behind all of these nefarious activities, and he advises his family members to stay away from all electronic devices. However, no one in his family has ever taken his advice seriously. On the other hand, Hiro intends to kill the people in a different way. Meanwhile, his friend arrives, knowing that Hiro is the mastermind behind the game. Despite this, she assists Hiro because she is confident that Hiro will be repaired soon and that everything will return to normal. Now that Hiro has become sentimental, he decides that after this day, he will not kill anyone. At the same time, cops arrive and begin firing at Hiro. Hiro was unconcerned about his safety in this situation. Because he could do no harm, he was most concerned about his friend, who would lose her life as a result of a bullet. Hiro attempts everything he can to save his companion, but she is wounded and dies. Now that he's flown into wrath here, he plans to kill the entire world. And he begins to kill everyone by hacking all of the computer screens, cell phones, and creating barriers. The entire city is in upheaval as a result of. People start running here and there is a tense state. The survivors, on the other hand, were amusing themselves with all facts, including Ichiro's children. Now, Ichiro hacks all screens with the help of Hiro's friend. And he sends out a message to everyone, stay away from all your electronic devices. Now that everyone has kept their electronic devices away from them, the death rate of people has decreased. Hiro has also begun to employ his weaponry, firing missiles at all of the city's buildings. After witnessing everything, Ichiro approaches Hiro and begins a battle with him. They get into a big battle, but Hiro tries to throw a helicopter pilot down while he's flying, but Ichiro saves him, and Ichiro starts running away from Hiro. Because he was not as powerful as Hiro, Ichiro now forces Hiro to drink the saltiest water after entrapping him. Because Hiro's robotic body was at a high technological level, the saltiest water has no effect on him right away. As a result, Ichiro transports Hiro to space, where the saltiest water begins to damage him. As Hiro's power fades, Ichiro assaults him with all of his might, then moves on to his daughter. And he saves her life by using his abilities to deliver an electric shock to her. And Hiro is once again reached there, and he severely beats Ichiro. Ichiro's health worsens as Hiro beats him badly. Following this, Hiro targets his daughter as his next victim, and he begins to throw Ichiro's daughter from the structure. Where Ichiro simply asks for forgiveness for the sake of his daughter's life, and he demands that he leave his daughter alone, despite this, Hiro drops his daughter. As Hiro does so, mysterious power